Hello and welcome to the second part of this video. In the first part we generated the plot in Python, this plot, and here we will run these codes in Python in SQL Server. Okay, so this is done, let's do this. The first thing that we need to do is put the CSV data into SQL Server. We need to find a way to do the inserts on SQL Server. The second part, we need to adapt the Python script, so we run the script having no problems, okay? To put the data in SQL Server, this data, we need first to create a table like sales by day, where we have a day that is a date, not null, and a sales that is an integer, and it is not null, okay? Second, we need to find a way to insert this data into the SQL Server table, okay? There are many tools to do imports from a CSV, but I will do this in an uh, old way, because it can be used for SQL Server, can be used for MySQL and so forth. We need to create inserts like this, where we insert into sales by day, the day and the sales, the values are the value of the cell A, minus 2, converting it to a smell date time, okay, and the value of the cell B. So, to do this, we can use the power of Excel and put this formula, concatenate the string, the string, and the value of the cell, plus the string, plus the value of the cell B, and plus the string, okay? What I just said was this, I have this formula, I copy this formula, and I go to Excel, go to the first cell, the cell C2, paste the formula, hit enter, and now I can select it again and copy, select the entire column, paste, and Excel do the inserts for us, okay? Now we can select the entire column and copy, go to SQL Server, Management Studio, and we paste. Tada! Then we just need to run the script, okay? So let's move to the second part that is adapting the Python script to SQL Server. We have this template that we've been using from the previous videos. Okay, the Python code goes here and we don't need this anymore. Okay, this part loading the CSV data, we don't need this because we are loading the data directly from SQL Server. Select day and sales from sales by day. Okay, but here is a problem because this function is not just loading the data from a CSV. This function is making the string of the column day into a date and also making the column day as a row index. So, without using this function, we need the same behavior, okay? We just go here and type data.day is equals to data.day.map and inside of this function we provide the lambda expression that converts the string into a date. This lambda expression that we did in the previous video, okay? We copy this and we go here and we paste. The problem of converting the string into a pandas daytime is solved. Now we need to make the day, the column day, as a row index. So data is equals to data dot set underscore index and we provide the column day. First let's test this here, so we need to declare a data is equals to pd pandas dot read underscore csv. We provide the path of the csv file. We need to copy to copy this path, okay, copy this and put here so we don't delete this and the old code we can just delete it, okay, and we just have the imports of pandas and matplotlib, then we have the path of the file, the CSV file, we load the CSV file into a data and we do the things that we just did here. Then we do the statistics, we do the plot part and after this we just show. So let's open the terminal and call pi rolling mean standard deviation part 2. And it works, we have this plot, okay? 
basically the change that we had to do was removing this part of the code and adding this part where we say how to convert the string into a date time append as date time and then we set the day as a row index and we have everything ready to go. Let's go here and comment to show. And then in SQL Server, we will save as a picture. Okay. And also let me comment. Let me comment this part because we are not reading a CSV file. So we can copy the entire code, copy like this. And we go to SQL Server. We have here the template here in the script part we just have to paste okay like this before running this we need to go to the services and make sure that launchpad is running okay launchpad is running now we can execute this let me remove this part because it's breaking the string remember okay and let's execute this and see what happens and we have an error because there is an unsupported input data type in the column day. There is an unsupported data type. Why? Because day is a date time. Okay, is a date time from SQL Server and Python from SQL Server does not support date time. Okay, so we need to go here and cast these. We need to convert into a n var char the column day and we call these as day okay just these as day then we can execute again and we get another error and what was this time oh attribute error data frame object has no attribute day if we go here we are sending from sql server a variable called day with uppercase d okay and python python is using a variable day with lowercase d so python is case sensitive sql server is not we must go here to solve the problem instead of calling this as day with uppercase we call this as day with lowercase okay and we can execute this and finally we will have a result and no we add another error let me see what was this time value error time data this string does not match the format day month and year why because the sql date is year month and day the csv format was day month and year and here is year month and day so we must go to the script again the script part and this part where we do the conversion we must call here the year then we have a month and then we have a day is the reversed order okay also it doesn't have slashes it has minus sign so instead of a slash we have a minus sign and another minus sign okay now we can execute again and finally the command completed successfully if we go to the folder we have here the plot okay this plot after pasting the code we found three errors the first error was the supported date python does not support tsql date format okay so before we add the select and after we add to convert the day into a string okay and varchar the second error was the object has no attribute day and we add these and after we add these what changed the day is lowercase here in the after why because python is case sensitive and tsql is not case sensitive okay and the third and last was the format of the date because the csv date is day slash month slash year and tsql is year minus month minus day so this is before and this is after what change the format okay year minus month minus day this is the end you can download the source code the link is in the description okay give it a like subscribe and as always thank you for watching